This may not look like the slums of Brazil or India, but year after year it's made its way into the number one rank for murders per year. That's right, Tijuana is the murder capital of the world, per capita, meaning proportional to its population. There's approximately 1.9 million people living in Tijuana, and a large portion of those people live in huts built out of whatever they can find, without electricity or running water. And some of these types of areas extend for miles as far as you can see. Meanwhile, a hop and a skip away, it's a playground for college kids due to the prostitution and nightlife of the city. And I'm saying this because I used to live here a few years back, and it's not exactly what you would think. There's dirt cheap rent, excellent Mexican food, and as crazy as it may sound, it's a lot safer than most of the places I've lived in the US. The risk is not directed towards travelers or tourists or just the regular resident working and minding their own business. Most will not be able to understand this, but the violence is 100% between rival cartels who are competing over territory and who controls the flow of drugs. For travelers passing through the area, the risk factor is basically non-existent and the Airbnbs are dirt cheap in between 15 and 30 dollars a night. I wouldn't really say it's my type of vacation getaway, but you can buy a house on the hill or a house on the beach for a hundred grand. So while a lot of the residents are living lives of luxury with high paying jobs, most of the city is in extreme poverty. Like I said, without running water 